This is Dr. Brain again, continuing with our study of the basal ganglia and thalamus. This section is slightly uh, caudal to our anterior commissure, and let me review the important structures with you. Then we'll come back and talk a little bit about function as per our routine. The corpus callosum. The body of the caudate. The internal capsule, slightly behind the genu. And we have two thalamic nuclei here. This one is the anterior nucleus. This one is the ventral anterior nucleus. We can clearly see the putamen and the globus pallidus with two portions, the external segment of globus pallidus and the internal segment of the globus pallidus. Note the ansal lenticularis, the very prominent fiber bundle carrying information from the globus pallidus to the motor nuclei of the thalamus, VA, ventral anterior, but also some to VL, ventral lateral. Columns of the fornix here are descending and soon they will enter the mammillary bodies. If we still see a portion of the anterior commissure on each side. Note the optic tracts. We are now behind a chiasm, of course, and the optic tracts are going to the lateral geniculate body, mostly, and our old friend the amygdala. Remember fear? Now, the corpus callosum is interconnecting homologous sides of the cerebral hemispheres. The caudate and the putamen collectively are called the striatum and have a great deal to do with a variety of neurologic disorders, Parkinson's disease, Huntington's chorea, etc. The output of the, of the uh, basal ganglia is largely, not exclusively, but largely through the internal segment of the globus pallidus the information traveling by way of the ansal lenticularis and also another fiber track which we don't see here called the lenticular fasciculus. The anterior commissure, as I mentioned to you previously, is carrying information from one anterior temporal lobe to the other. The optic tracts, we are now behind the chiasm, information from uh, the retina of each eye being relayed to the lateral geniculate body and of course the amygdala, receiving very important information from a variety of structures including olfactory information, information from the hypothalamus, etc. By the way, I should point out of course that this is the third ventricle and surrounding the third ventricle are, is the important hypothalamus. We will not go into the hypothalamic nuclei here because they're very difficult to stain and uh, we'll just outline uh, the structure. That pretty much takes care of this slide. Let's proceed uh, one step posteriorly uh, and we will identify further structures of the basal ganglia and the thalamus.